Meet Marquis, beloved pet of George Sand and occasional muse of Chopin. Allegedly, it was the sight of little Marquis chasing his own tail which prompted the composer to write his Waltz Op. 64 No. 1, nicknamed the Waltz of the Little Dog, but more commonly known as the Minute Waltz. Intentional or not, the music's wildly spinning theme perfectly captures the image of a dog-shaped tornado. Marquis proved to be a wellspring of inspiration, as Chopin also composed A Gallop Marquis, an obscure piece likely written as accompaniment to the pantomimes and puppet shows in which the Saint family specialised. This work was written around the same time as the waltz, so it's perhaps no coincidence that it shares a similar sense of frivolity, not to mention an identical key, in the middle section at least, which Chopin dedicates to Son's other dog, Dib. Charles Alcon also depicted canines in his piano music, but in a rather more specific way. Towards the end of his monstrous Aesop's Feast etude, a dignified fanfare is interrupted by barking. The animals are initially well behaved, yapping in time with the music, but this discipline is short-lived. The barking gets quicker, completely throwing off the pulse, and then gets quicker again, culminating in the musical equivalent of a dog's dinner. Our final example comes courtesy of Eric Satie, one of history's great eccentrics. The composer never actually owned a dog, but he was completely enamoured of them. So much so that in 1912 he wrote a suite of three pieces which he called, brace yourself, True Flabby Preludes for a Dog. The title may be farcical, but the music is anything but. Granted, a few barks interrupt the third piece, titled We Play. But the second piece constitutes a genuinely touching portrait of a dog alone at home. What are your favourite examples of animals and piano music? Or any music for that matter? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.